Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys my L'Oreal um, Canada. You can see my bag. I bought a bag full of goodies at the L'Oreal warehouse sale that happened this past end of September, early October. It just ended this past Thanksgiving weekend for us Canadians. And my mom had an invite from an employee, in her, from her employee, so then, um, she's not her employee, her co-worker, why well, I can't talk today. Sorry, I just haven't filmed the video in forever, so I'm just like a little bit out of it. And I spent around almost $200, $192 on all these products. One of the products I can't show because it's a gift for Sean, and hopefully he doesn't figure it out what I got him. Sean, you didn't figure it out, you didn't get it. But anyways, I started on to different categories. I got an embarrassing amount of mascaras. I got some skincare and I got some hair care. And one liquid eyeliner. So, let's go on with my haul. So the first thing I grabbed is the Shu Uemura Art of Hair. It's a Depsy foundation. It's a daily style refresher with Depsy water and ceramide. And I never had any... I didn't even know Shu Uemura makes hair products. I thought it was just makeup that they had and the, um, their infamous eyelash curler but this is what it looks like I haven't used it yet none of these products I've used before because I wanted to do a haul video before I use the products and I didn't feel right using the products until I actually filmed the haul video it also controls me from like using everything <laughs> but basically what you're supposed to do is it says uh, spray on hair and comb through and basically what it does it after you style your hair, let's say you curled your hair or you made your hair wavy one day and this is what you spray on your hair the day after to keep that hairstyle. It says here, um, daily style refresher infused with pure Depsy water and ceramide. Weightless mist gives texture, improves detangling, and helps protect against frizz. To use before blow drying or to refresh the style before the hair is next washed. Spray through the hair and comb through to spread evenly. So it's basically... I don't know why exactly why it's called a Depsy foundation. I guess maybe it's like a foundation for your hair, but it's not it exactly. So what I'm planning to use this for is uh, I don't ever blow dry my hair unless I really have to. I only blow dry my hair really when I'm running short on time and I want my hair to be dry really fast, which is hardly ever because I always give myself time because I like my hair to air dry, especially now that I have color in it. I want it to air dry. And also in the winter, that's when I um, blow dry my hair when I take a shower like late at night or if I take a sh uh, shower in the morning and I have to go out somewhere that's when I blow dry my hair but I don't even blow dry it fully I keep it still like 20% wet um, but yeah so this is gonna be interesting I never had anything like this before and I thought it was a dry shampoo when I first bought it which is kind of dumb because dry shampoos are not liquid they're mostly like powdery but this gives it a texture your hair texture and less frizziness the second day of having your hair styled so that's what I plan to use it for and now that I have color treated hair, um, I do, my roots are coming in. They're about like an inch or an inch and a half right now. I want to say around an inch. And I plan to re-dye it again, just the same color as it was, like the most of the hair. But only when it starts looking a little bit ratchet. Right now it doesn't look ratchet, but once it starts looking ratchet, like around two inches, I'm going to probably color it again. Um, so that I can keep the color a little bit longer because I do like this color on me right now and I'm going to enjoy it as much as I can. And so I brought some shampoo and conditioners ish sort of things. Um, I usually buy my shampoo and conditioners from Winners, but I wanted to try something different this time and I really hope it does work out for me. So I bought the Matrix Biolage um, Hydrotherapeutic uh, Hydrotherapy. Yeah, Matrix Biolage Hydrotherapy Ultra Hydrating Shampoo. And this one, I read it, and it says it's for cares for color treated hair. Um, Biolage Ultra Hydrating Shampoo gently cleanses and moisturizes very dry, thick, coarse hair, which is what my hair will be in the wintertime because it's very, my hair is thick, it is coarse, and it gets dry in the winter. Uh, formulated with aloe extract, capio butter, and apricot kernel oil to help smooth and control unwanted volume, resulting in a Intensely soft, rich, and sumptuous hair. To use wet hair, allow the gentle motion. Friends, follow with Biolage Extra Balm. Follow with Biolage Extra Hydrating Balm. Blah, blah, blah. So, this is a one liter bottle, which is basically all my shampoos are in one liter bottles because that's when I get it from Winners, and it's just a pump. But this one doesn't have a pump. So what I'm hoping to do is pour this in like another bottle that I have of, empty sh of like an empty shampoo bottle that has a pump because I prefer to have a pump than to have it out of this tiny here because the pump is just a lot more handier in the shower you guys know what I mean if you guys had a pump in the shower it's a lot easier 
And to go with that shampoo, I got a matching, uh, I got the matching Ultra Hydrating Balm, which is like the intense conditioner. And I only plan to use this like in the winter time, like fall winter. So this one says uh, to use after Biolage Hydrating Shampoo, which is this bottle. Um, massage into wet hair, leave for one to three minutes, rinse thoroughly. Um, and yeah, so this one is a 500 milliliter bottle, which is 16.9 fluid ounces. It's kind of like half of this. So it's only half the size of this, and it comes in a tub like this, which I kind of do not like. I wish the conditioner was in an actual bottle, but it's actually like that. It smells good. It doesn't have any like crazy scent to it, which I don't mind. And this is the first time in a long time where I actually have a matching set of shampoo and conditioner. I usually just buy a different one for each brand. I'm not really too picky about it. Um, actually, that's a lie. I did have matching conditioner and shampoos before, but not in a high-end brand like this. Um, these were, let me see, shampoo is a, okay, so this bottle of shampoo was $17, which is not too bad compared to, um, like what I spent at Winners anyways, because Winners I spent like $12 to $15, and this was $17 for one liter. And this tub, that was half the size, of, half bo half the bottle of this, it's $12.50. So $12.50, $17, so it's around like, my bad math, $29. $29! That's basically how much I spent on this. My math is really bad. Like, I'm not that type of Asian where I'm really good at math. My brother is, but I'm not that type of Asian. But anyways, so I'm going to show you my whole lieu of mascaras. I bought seven different mascaras. And some of them are repurchases of things I've had before. So the first one, well, I got two Voluminous Butterflies Mascara. One is waterproof, the other one isn't. This one, the one that's not waterproof, it's in the color black. And the one that's waterproof is in black is black. And I have um, the non-waterproof version, and I'm enjoying it. I bought it, uh, I think I paid full price for it at a Walmart, I don't remember. But all these mascaras were around $5, 4 to $5, so I had to buy a whole bunch of them. Um, I like this mascara. A lot of people said they didn't like it, but I really like the wand of how it kind of like flares out on the end. So when you put your uh, mascara on, um, you kind of flip it so that the longer lashes are on the outside, which is what it normally is, and then the shorter lashes on the inside. And I really like it. Um, I don't have any problems with it smudging. The only time it smudges on me is if I didn't set my concealer properly, which is what my issue was. So I really enjoy these, and I hope... I use them sometime soon. I have so many mascaras. The next one is the L'Oreal Power 24 Hour Voluminous. Wow. The L'Oreal Voluminous Power 24 um, Mascara. I used to have this in the smoke version, which is like a matte black, and I don't like that matte black eyelash look. Uh, this one is in the color black, and it basically is a volumizing, thickening mascara. It's not so much for length, it's just pure volume, which I don't mind. Um, I never combine my mascaras, like sometimes my mascaras, some of them are for length only and some of them are just strictly for volume, but I never really combine the two to get volum voluminous and lengthy lashes. I'll just choose one or the other. I'm not too picky with my mascaras in that kind of way. Um, next one, I had this before, it's the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lash Mascara and this is like my holy grail mascara. This is the waterproof version in the color black. And I really love this, and the reason why is because it has a little fibers, and I love the mascaras that have the fibers in it because 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 it gives me length. And you know, Asian lashes, you need the length because it's non-existent in our lashes. Got that. Uh, next is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. I've heard about this before, and I'm really interested in seeing the wand because the wand here you can kind of see the image it has like tons of different plastic bristles, like all the same length, and I'm really excited to use this. I've heard about it. I've seen videos of people using it. But I never really tried it out myself, so I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, next is a Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous in the color Very Black. I've had this before, and I think I liked it. I don't, I don't remember, but it, it's $4 to $5. It's, I'm like, I'm not losing out on anything. It's drugstore mascara, and I mainly just use drugstore mascara anyways, or sample ones of high-end ones, and yeah, love that. And next, I never had this one before. It's uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes in the waterproof version in Black is Black. And it's basically kind of, the brush is kind of similar to the Voluminous Million Lashes Access. Uh, the Access has a lot more tinier bristles, and this one is a little bit thicker. So this is the red br bristle, and this one's a yellow bristle, but this one has a lot more of the um, bristles to like comb through your lashes. But this one's a little bit thicker bristles. 
so it's not as um, many bristles as compared to the other one. Um, and yeah, so excited to use this one. And next item is the Maybelline Master Studio by iStudio. It's a 2-in-1 glossy liquid eyeliner. So I saw the commercial for this. So basically, if you move the eyeliner one side, it's skinny. But then if you move it to the other side, it's thick. And I've always wanted like a liquid blue eyeliner. And I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So this was perfect. And this one cost me... The Master Duo, Master Duo, Master Duo. Where is it? This one cost me $3.75. In store, probably bill a few more dollars. So yeah, I decided to try this out. You can kind of see the image on the back. But it says thick if you use it on one end, but if you twist it, it's a thin line. So we'll see how this works. And the color is called Navy Gleam. So we'll see how this, because I probably would use this more likely in the fall, maybe winter, but this is, I feel like this is more of a spring summer thing, like the navy blue, but maybe that's just me. But this should be able to use all year round, but I just feel I associate navy eyeliner with spring summer and fall not so much winter I feel winter you have to go like darker I don't know I'm weird okay next is skincare I've purchased this one before it's the uh, uh, La Roche Posey uh, Nutritic um, Transforming Care for Dry Skin it has 2.5% biolipids which is basically fats the healthy skin fats that you kind of put back into your skin to get the moisture back. I know it sounds gross, but basically that's kind of what it is. And it uh, it's for tightness, sensitivity, rigidity, and roughness. It's an ultra fine emulsion, so it's like an emulsion type of cream. And this one costs me $9.75, and it comes with four fluid ounces and just made in France. And anything made in France is beautiful, you know, like the Eiffel Tower. But yeah, it comes in this, and it's super handy because I always use these. Um, in my purse. I leave them in my purse, but uh, there's this one thing I noticed about leaving lotions, like hand lotions or any type of lotions in my purse. The weather in Canada is so crazy to the point where the fat and the oils that are in hand creams or any lotion or any type of creams I put in my purse, they sometimes separate. Please let me know if any other Canadians, any of my fellow Canadian viewers have this problem with your lotions that you put in your purse. If the oil that's in the the lotion separates from the actual lotion itself. Like, so when you squeeze a bottle out, you'll see like a pile of like oil and then you'll see the actual lotion. Like I, that happened to a few of my creams and I think it's because our weather is so cold and then we go from cold to hot and when you carry your purse around, it just separates. It sounds weird but it's still moisturizing, it just the oil separates from the cream. It's, it sounds disgusting but like, it's, I don't know why. Uh, next, <laughs> that was a really weird rant, I don't know why I did that. And I got these Garnier, um, Fruities wipes. These are the Garnier Refreshing Remover Cleansing Toilets from Normal to Combination Skin. I was contemplating not getting this, but mainly I'm going to use this on um, when I go on vacations or like overnight trips and I don't want to carry much of my makeup remover, which is my Garnier um, makeup remover thing um, that I always carry. This one has 25 toilets and I believe this one I paid $5.75 for. So five seventy five for twenty five wipes. Um, I don't have combination skin, but I do have normal to very dry to dry skin, um, and only get oily when I like either touch my face or when I'm using too many serums or when I'm using a bad lotion, sort of thing. Um, I don't really get p uh, pimples from stress, but I got this because I don't really have any makeup wipes anymore. I used to use the pond ones, pond ones, but I stopped using it. So I'm like, might as well grab this. So it doesn't hurt. So my last item is this Biotherm skincare set, and I believe this came out in the holiday season, and I think it came from Farmer Pre because there's a logo here that says it's from Farmer Pre. Basically, what this comes with, you can kind of see it here in the back. It's kind of difficult to see because it's see-through, but I'll explain it to you. Um, this set includes a Skin Vino, which is a reverse anti-aging serum uh, for all skin types, and it comes with 1.69 fluid ounces. The next item is a Skin Vino Reverse Anti-Aging Care for Normal to Combination Skin, and it's half a fluid ounce. And the next one is a Skin Vino Nui, which is the nighttime, overnight reverse anti-aging care. So I was looking for another anti-aging cream, but I couldn't really find exactly what I was looking for, so I settled for this one. And this whole set here cost me um, $32 for all three items. And I thought this was a really good deal for all these three items. So let me open them for you. So the first thing is a full-size Biotherm Skin Vino Reverse Anti-Aging Serum. So this is a serum for all skin types. And I was, that's basically what I was looking for, a 
serum and this one is the best deal that I could find there and look how big this bottle is like super super huge and it comes with a dropper type of style oh my god the serum is like I never had a serum like this this one's a white serum the usually the serums I use are either clear or they're a little bit yellowy which is kind of weird but that's the polish choice serum so it comes with the full size of the serum it comes with this one's a day cream but this is a biotherm skin vino reverse anti-aging care for normal to combination skin and this one is with it's half a fluid ounce and this one is like a day um, cream for anti-aging so you would put this on after your serum so it kind of be like your um, cream that you would put on and you'd have to put an SPF over this because this doesn't have SPF this is really cute I like that and the last item in this set is a skin vino nui which is a night version and it's for all skin types which is weird I don't know why the day cream is um for normal combination but the night and the serum is all skin types and this says overnight reverse anti-aging care so it comes in the darker bottle so you know that this is for night which is handy because you know when you're sleeping you're not sleeping when it's late at night and you can't even figure out which one's your skincare just go for the dark bottle because it's nighttime so you look for this one and this comes with um, half an ounce of product and yeah so that's was a great deal for $32 because I think they had the serum of this one by itself like the one fluid ounce for around like $40 or something but a little bit if you get a regular size version of this you get a two other products and this was like the best set I can find so why not this the estimated value of this set is 123 original price was 84 but I paid $32 and I thought that was really good and plus the packaging is super cute you can totally reuse this again and this was the biothermed um, biothermed tap the whimsical meets pop talent of Swedish illustrator Kari Moden for its winter waterland interpretation so this was a special collection they had at Shoppers Drug Mart slash Farmer Prey. And yeah, that is my complete L'Oreal uh, warehouse sale. I bought this huge bag as well. Cute. Um, I got that bag because I totally forgot to bring a bag with me when I went because they don't supply bags for you. Like, they don't do plastic bags. They have to do the carry-all bag. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh yeah. If you want a review, let me know. I'll do a review on any of these products once I use them, but I'll get around to doing it. But let me know down below what you want to review on, okay? Thank you. Bye.